Hi, my name is Amy, I'm with Benchmade Knife Company, and I'm here to present you our new NPI uh, to the Smoky Mountain Knife Works community. Uh, just to start things off, we have the most exciting part of our launch, which is the water collection. This is a six-piece set uh, with two fillet knives, two fixed blades, a, a small and a large, and then two folders, a, a small and a large as well. So the most important component of this collection uh, is to do with the blade steel. So we are launching the water collection with CPM MagnaCut. Uh, this blade steel is just absolutely optimized for uh, corrosion resistance as well as edge retention. And this was the perfect place to put MagnaCut in the line. So starting off with the 18010, this is a seven inch fillet knife. As I said, CPM Magna Cut. This is a flex uh, seven inch fillet knife. It features a white watermark too. Uh, this is a higher corrosion resistance than our traditional black laser mark. So we really thought through, you know, all the details of this. Um, and it is a nice stone wash polish finish. So you really get a premium look to this knife. Uh, going down to the 9-inch with this uh, molded sheath with uh, grommets and drainage holes. And you can also use these slots in the sheath to mount to your belt. This is the 9-inch fillet. This is really good for those larger fish, uh, you know, either salmon, halibut, you know, any larger fish that you need to fillet. It is a, a stiffer blade than the 7-inch, so if you need something strong, uh, this will be the knife to cut through that. Really nice deep belly up tap, uh tip. Uh, these knives are made with Santaprene on the handles. Uh, you know, Santaprene is the best material to give you that high grip, especially when your hands are wet or cold. So those are the two fillet knives. The next knife that I want to show you is the undercurrent. This is the 18040S. Uh, so this is a partial serrations sheet split blade profile in Magna Cut, you know, this is a, a larger fixed blade meant for hard use tasks such as bait prepping, uh, cutting line. You know, we have some line cutting here going on in the booth today. Uh, it has a deep finger choil so that if you're doing push cuts, you're gonna protect your hand uh, from slippage down to the blade. So again, that really nice stone wash polish. The sheath is really important here. This has a thumb release. So it has a really high retention rate to this sheath. Then we go to the Intersect. This is a smaller fixed blade, uh, easy to pull out of the sheath. It's meant to wear in pocket. Uh, you can also uh, flip the pocket clip to the back so you can mount it to backpack straps or even a belt. So this is a smaller, you know, prop for me, it's a four finger because I have small hands, but this is a great knife for, it could be your EDC fixed blade, uh, great for around the water. Um, you know, the jimping on the spine really gives you, uh, you know, that great grip when you're really getting in close. Uh, this also has a secondary retention strap so that if you are carrying that uh, on your chest, uh, it won't come out. So this is called the Intersect. And then also, the yeah, this has a lanyard because, you know, with it being a small fixed blade, uh, we want it to be easy to draw. You know, a smaller handle, we want to give you that extra surface area to draw the knife out of the sheath. So then we get to the folding knives. So this is called the Adira. This is the 18060 uh, CPM Magna Cut blade steel. Uh, drop point blade, you know, really aggressive shape to the drop point blade because we really wanted this to be a hard use knife. So a lot of jimping you'll see at the top. The yep. Time. And then as well, it extends down into the handle. Uh, again, that deep finger choil to prevent slipping. Um, grivery handle with, uh, in, you know, an aggressive texture so that you have a really great uh, grip when your hands are wet and cold throughout the whole line. Uh, this does have a aluminum backspacer. So you get the lightweight feel of the grivery, but you get the strength and durability with that aluminum backspacer. And then we have the orange anodized thumb stud accents with the axis lock opener. And then you also have the lanyard 
uh, with the high vis orange as well as our black nylon uh, lanyard bead. So to finish it off. It just really pops with that lanyard. It does, yep. So then we have the mini Adira. So if you're, uh, you know, if the full size is a little too large for you, the 18065 mini is the way to go. You know, a little bit easier pocket carrying uh, for your everyday use. You know, same great lanyard, grip texture, belly texture, deep finger toil, uh, aluminum backspacer, and then we have a deep carry uh, black oxide pocket clip. So that rounds out the water collection. So folks, I'm back now. I just got to check out the water series and it's super cool. I'm here with Amy and uh, we've got some more Benchmade to go over here. This is super slick and I just held this one for the first time and I'm already in love. So let's go over this and tell me what we got here. So 2024 is the 25th anniversary of Axis Lock. And you know that Benchmade was the first to come out with Axis Lock and the 710 is the first model to have that mechanism. Yep. And so with that being the anniversary year, we really wanted to come back with a new 710 collection. So this is what you see here. We have a gold class variant, which is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, 250 piece gold class. Uh, then we have a limited option with an aluminum handle as well as an inline. So I can kind of go into the detail on each one of these. But starting with the gold class, titanium handle, aluminum inlays, and a Fafner Damasteel blade. Wow. Uh, you really have to open this up to see the details and interlocking uh, backspacer. That is and so, it, and also a titanium pocket clip. Uh, you know, if, if, for the folks who know the 710, the original designers of this nice were watchmakers. And so our designer really wanted to hone in on all the intricate details that you may find in jewelry making and watchmaking. So hence why you see kind of the dial look of the uh, aluminum insert uh, in the milling, the details of the milling of the handle, just really beautifully done. FDE PVD accents on this as well. So that is gorgeous. Yeah. Show the action on that one. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, just falls close and snaps right out. That is just beautiful right there. Yeah, and this Insanely was, smooth. Yeah, this was the first, you know, the mechanism that really kept the user's hand away from the blade while closing, yeah. you know, just. I actually did uh, kind of a history. It was a short history of the access lock not too long ago. It's been a few months ago, but talked about the 710. And I actually mentioned at that point that I wish we had another 710. And at that time, I, of course, I had no idea that this was coming. Yeah. So we've got a limited series here. What does that mean exactly? So this is a 2,500 piece limited edition. Um, so, you know, again, we wanted to uh, bring about, you know, if you're not ready to step up or, or can have access to that gold class line, uh, we are coming at you with a milled aluminum handle in a matte black finish. Uh, really beautifully done, and uh, you still get all the fine details of CPM MagnaCut blade steel. Yeah. Yes, um, and we also have that same FDE PVD accents uh, on the pivot as well as the blade, and then the details on the back spacer as well. You know, full liner uh, on the 710 collection. Um, if you really want to get nitty gritty, do you see anything different about uh, the Axis Lock? Well, absolutely. I mean, you've got uh, the Axis Lock here, but you've got it kind of ramped. Mm -hmm. So if you get a, a nice profile there, and it's also milled so that you've got a nice, good purchase on that. Yeah. It's very confidence inspiring. You kind of saw that in the 748 last year, yep. and we pulled it in and kind of evolved it into the 710. I love it. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love it and it just feels super smooth and it feels like it belongs there. Yes. It, it's ramped down so that it's right even with the scales on the front side, but then it just gradually ramps up there with the milling. It's really comfortable yeah. to, to work the mechanism with the uh, placement of the, the lock stud. And I love that coating on the blade. Yeah. It just looks so pretty. 
And then we've got the inline product here. Yeah, so we have an inline variant. This is the 710FE-24. So gray aluminum, uh, milled handle again as well. Uh, this is a CPM F90B blade steel uh, with the FDE PVD blade coating. And uh, this also has the FDE PVD uh, pocket clip, pivot rings, as well as uh, barrel spacers. And again, that's the one that I fell in love with right there. That's just... Yeah. You know, the recurved blade and the shaping of the handle and the sides, you know, uh, this really is kind of that iconic Benchmade uh, knife and, and it was a great year to, to bring this. We had a lot of people asking us to bring this back and it was the perfect time to do I, that. I remember that knife really well and this one right here is bringing back really fond memories and just feeling it in hand. Yeah. It, it makes me smile. Yeah, the recurve blade, you know, is pretty, uh, you know, it really helps to stand apart, you know, if you're going to want to cut some rope and yep. cut some grasses, it, it just really grabs that on really good. Yeah. Now, this is the Narrows here, but uh, it looks a little different this time around. Yeah, you know, as you see, things are kind of darker in some of these, you know, high-end uh, variants. And I really wanted to put out a black version of the 748. So, uh, but I wanted to do something a little different. And, you know, just not just black it all out. Uh, the intention here was to have a matte finish to the DLC titanium on the handle. Uh, but I wanted to provide a DLC polish blade with the M390. I thought it was really great, you know, kind of uh, accent to uh, just having an all black variant. Yeah. Yeah, the pivot, the lock stud, and the other hardware is also the, a polished finish with that matte uh, black of the handle. That, oh gosh, so smooth. And then, this uh, immunity right here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we had the immunity launch last year, and we thought it was a good time to uh, create a limited, unlimited version of this. Uh, so this is the 290-241. It features a unidirectional carbon fiber handle uh, with that sapphire blue PVD liners. Like, you really gotta look at the liners. It looks so good. Uh, with the barrel spacers, the uh, mini deep carry pocket clip, um, you know, that blue pivot, as well as the thumb stud, um, and then the Iger Damasteel blade. That is absolutely gorgeous. And this has been one of my favorites over the last year, uh, simply because of the size, but it, it feels, it fits in the hand bigger than it actually is. It does, and it's yeah. Just, it's just That's what works. I'm carrying today, too. Of course, the, yeah. Yep. yep. <laughs> Except I have the auto version. So, nice. yeah, uh, you know, I really love how we're able to, that sapphire blue really pulls out the uh, the uh, details of the pivot there on the yeah. uh, immunity side. Mm -hmm. So, Amy, when can we expect to see these hitting store shelves? Yeah, the first one that you're going to see is that 290-241 uh, in April, and the rest of the three variants are going to be able to be available in June. Nice. That is awesome. And I believe you've got some more stuff to show us. Yes, we do. We're going to have to reset because there's a lot to go over. So, Amy, one of the most popular segments of the knife community for the last few years has been automatics. And you guys consistently knock it out of the park. But um, i got to say, this is probably my favorite lineup that I've ever seen as far as autos from Benchmade. Let's talk about these. Let's actually start with the uh, new Claymores here. Yeah, so, you know, the Claymore as a collection has been doing really well for us you know it's that lightweight tactical knife it's an auto and so the next phase of this was uh we wanted to come out with an otf and so an out the front claymore so that you know if hey if the infidel is a little too heavy for you right. and you want that lightweight feel but you want a tactical knife um the the claymore otf was the right way to go uh, we have a black variant in Grivery, as well as the Ranger Green color in the CPM D2 steel with the smoke gray PVD uh, finish. Yes. Yep. I love this. And really great action, really easy to get a good handle on it. And with it being a tactical knife, lightweight, so that you're not weighing yourself down because, yeah. you know, ounces equal pounds. But also, all the controls on this are nice and large because typically it's going to be used with a gloved hand. Mm -hmm. 
So it's going to be really easy to actuate. You're not going to be fumbling trying to get it out there. So uh, really dig that. Deep carry pocket clip. Yeah, yeah this comes in plain edge and serrated nice. in, the, in the larger size. So And then we um, also got a smaller size. Yeah, we got a mini. So, you know, if uh, you want something just more pocket friendly, you can go down to the mini. We have just plain edge in this one. We don't have, we only, we kept the serrated to the full size. Ranger green and black in this as well. Oh man, that is really satisfying right there. It's the click, it's so positive. And I love that it's CPMD too. And that's one thing uh, we've tried to educate people a lot more on. CPMD2 is vastly different than regular D2. The composition yep. is going to be very similar, but the method in which it is manufactured is drastically different and increases the durability and the functionality of it um, exponentially. Yeah, and exactly. Like this has to be hard use. Yeah. This has to withstand a lot of pressure, a lot of force. So, um, you know, we designed the Claymore family around the Army Ranger, and so it needs to withstand for that need. Yeah. Now, another really popular knife for you guys has been the shootout, and we saw a bunch of different colors come out last year. We've got even more this year. Yeah. And this one's really jumping out at me right here. Yeah, so this is the new color. It's a seasonal color, so it's going to be available a limited amount of time. Uh, so this is our area to test color. We want to create something new and fresh with the shootout. Uh, so this color is called sage green. Uh, we hit that with uh, gold anodized accents at the uh, spine fire as well as the lanyard loop. We decided to put the lanyard loop on this versus the glass breaker. Uh, that is a uh, DLC blade uh, with the crew wear. And so, yeah, just really great combo. Freshen up your shootout if you need to have a fresh color. Why not, right? Get one to match all of your clothes. Yeah. Every outfit that you yep. got. You can, you can match your shootout mm -hmm. to your outfit. Yeah don't have to have just your standard black for the shootout. That is super yeah. cool. And then this one does have the glass breaker on it. It does. And so we recognize that some people wanted a blade that is a little bit easier to maintain, you know, versus a tonneau. Uh, you know, the seasonal color still has a tonneau blade. Right. Uh, so we decided to come out with a drop point blade option. And nice. so, you know, same same blade steel, same grivery handle. We do keep the, keep the glass breaker. Uh, but you have an option, you know, if you want something different than the tonneau blade. That is really cool. And I got to say, my favorite knife design of all time has been the Mini Adamas. And ever since the Auto Adamas came out, everyone's been wondering when the Mini Adamas was going to make it to the market in an auto version. And it's here. You know, that marbled carbon fiber, the polished blade, uh, magna cut blade steel. Uh, the FDE PVD liners and accents, this, yeah, this has just been a stunner. And I, I also love like the multi-level, so you kept the holes here, but they are filled in and it's still got the carbon fiber in there. It just looks super cool. Yeah, it gives some interesting dimension to it. And you've got the lock for safety. Mm -hmm. That it, ah, uh, I didn't, I didn't need to buy another knife, but now <laughs> I'm going to have to. Because I've got the regular Mini Adamas in this in this pattern right here. I've actually got four Mini Adamas oh, knives do. Yeah. total. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one's gonna have to make it to the collection as well. And not only that, but we've also got the traditional here with the FDE and the, the OD yep. green. You can get the OD green or the black uh, green, uh, G10 uh, in your standard colors that you find throughout the Adamas line. And those are gonna come with the classic crew wear blade steel. Correct, yeah. Uh, FD PVD on this one and the uh, gray finish on the black. That is super exciting. I am really glad to see that. Amy, thank you so much for taking time yeah. out of your day. We thank really you. appreciate it. Yeah. And this has been a lot of fun and really stoked to see all this new stuff hitting the market. Yeah, I'm excited too.